When we say civil war in America, we think about 1861 and the Union versus the Confederacy. But the Revolutionary War pitted families against each other and split towns in two. It was much more complex than freedom-loving patriots fighting British oppressors. So how many civil wars has the United States actually experienced? From 1765 on, there were pockets of anti-British protests in North America. But while a large number of colonists saw the tax system as unfair, most still felt that the British Empire offered safety and stability. But once the fighting started in 1775, nearly all colonists were forced to make a painful choice to declare as loyalists or patriots. This led to open hostility, with each side calling the other traitors. The reasons for choosing sides, though, weren't always simple. For some, it was just a question of politics and old loyalties. But as armies started moving around the country, allegiance became more about survival than opinion. Communities would usually pledge support, at least publicly, to whichever army was in their neighborhood at the time. But for farming communities, soldiers weren't welcome guests. To feed themselves, armies on both sides often had to take supplies by force, and farmers who had their grain and their horses taken by one side might decide to support the other. Some businessmen and farmers supported the Loyalists for basic economic reasons. The British paid for supplies with hard coin, while the Continentals could only pay with IOUs. And as the divisions mounted, friends turned against each other and families divided. Benjamin Franklin was one of the most famous advocates of independence, but his illegitimate son, William, had been the royal governor of New Jersey and remained loyal to the crown. During the war, William organized loyalist raiding parties and even after the war was never reconciled with his patriot father. Many ordinary families were torn apart too. Of the four Goforth brothers from North Carolina, three fought for a loyalist militia while the fourth was a committed patriot. We don't know what made them take sides in the way they did, but we know that they ended up fighting each other at the bloody Battle of King's Mountain, and not one of them survived. The brothers' deaths are a stark example of a conflict that was a fight for liberty and self-determination, and at the same time, a bitter civil war over the very idea of independence.